back to Donna Dreams. It is Priest of the African River Eagle, aka Miss Z on this channel. If you would, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Comment down below which one you chose. I love to read the comments. If you want to book a reading with me, please go to DonnaDreams.com. Just a heads up, I do have New Year 2025 readings available for a limited amount of time. And right now, it's at the early bird price. When we get closer to that time, the price will go up and then I will discontinue. Um, and some people have already booked this, so make sure you get yours in uh, for the new year. Also, if you don't know, I have started my members only on the YouTube channel, and a lot of people have already moved over there, and I have uploaded about, I think, three videos already this week on there. Um, I'm doing uh, spiritual teachings, well, more so spiritual talks, but if you know, if you really know me, when I talk, I teach, so um, you get free gems, free information over there through uh, joining the members only and you'll also get exclusive videos that are only put up for members so make sure that you check that out and thank you to everybody shout out to everybody who joined you know uh, without question just went on and joined I really appreciate you um, but you know for the regular channel <laughs> I want to guys excuse me I want to give you guys um, a quick check-in so that's all I got time for today but you know it's gonna hit so um, this is going to be just a check in for your energy and today we're going to be picking between three different dice you have the large dice the black dice the small black dice or the third one which is the blue dice and this is going to be your starting messages so you can pick dice one dice two or dice three again this is going to be a really quick check in for your energy let's go ahead and start with power one all right power one let's go ahead and roll the dice I'm going to roll it three times. Okay. Woo. Okay. So this is my spiritual pal. All right. Because, um, the Oracle rolled three times, uh, talking about spiritual things, things that you're going to start seeing. Um, like, you know, your eyes are going to start being open. They're also talking about more spiritual development, meaning that you're going to be picking up some more books, some more lessons. Uh, some of you are going to be going through another initiation. You, yes, you are. You're going to be starting something new, a new path within your spirituality. Spirit's also talking about you getting closer to source, um, for whatever you want to call it, closer to the divine, closer to the creator, closer to the all. Some of you are also going to be coming across um, certain truths, you know, that you haven't been wanting to accept. So a lot of you will be probably like in your hermit mode, what we call the hermit mode, where you kind of detach a little bit from people um, and things, turning off your phone, staying off social media. You might be wanting to fast and things like that. And that is because of your spirits. They're wanting to kind of take you on a journey where you are learning more information about who you are and more practices. So it's like no distractions. Yes, this is a solo journey. So right now you're seeing a lot of people be sheep, all right? I'm not going to talk about what's going on with the election and all that, but I will say you're seeing a lot of people be sheep and kind of be swept up by their emotions. And this doesn't have to just be that. It could be anything that's going on around you when you uh, when you watch this reading. A lot of people around you are being swept up by drama, by everything else um, in the collective. They're being swept by the collective energy. But you are the only one that's like, I don't really fit in this category, you know. So it's almost like you're having to pretend that you agree, you know, um, that you watch sports. Have you ever had that going on when people like... Everybody else watch sports in the room. You're the only person that don't watch sports. That's kind of like this energy. You're the only one that kind of just, you know, you don't speak up too much because you just, you don't really want to deal with the drama of being the outcast. But at the same time, you are the outcast because you aren't at a certain level anymore. And like I said, the Oracle was talking about that. You kind of being um, more, a little bit more elevated mentally. 
not to get caught up in the games, not to get caught up in the traps of drama. Um, this can also relate back to certain relationships that you might be in right now. Like you are just seeing beyond certain things. You're like, that's petty. Like, I don't even have to do that. Uh, I'm not going to feed into me being put against somebody or, you know, me going back and forth with somebody. There's no point, you know? So you're just kind of getting to a level of like understanding of where, you know, people might try to split you up from your partner and you like, hell no, you know, that's you over there. I'm going to keep mine. So you're not like feeding into certain um, realities that everybody else wants you to. You're not taking on everybody's advice. You're kind of just like, nah, I'm going to keep my peace. Y'all can just be the sheep and that's just y'all. <laughs> so I see that. And yeah, Spirit says, don't feel left out of any certain spaces. It's because your mind is a little bit bigger. It's because you are a little bit wiser that you just don't get it. Like, you're like, why are y'all doing this? Do y'all not see that this is a game? Do y'all not see that your emotions are being played with? Even at the job, if you work a job, your emotions are being played with, that they're threatening you so that you can do this and do that. Like, you are beyond that. You are working on your security, some of you are actually going to be moving into bigger houses. That's a, just a random messages. Random message. I see something like a move, something to where you move in a more comfortable space or you move into a bigger space. Spirit's also going to be teaching you, um, like your spirit's also going to be teaching you some spirituality that isn't to be voiced to the public. There are certain things that they just want you to keep between you and them. So um, you move accordingly. You don't need to let everybody know that you're coming. You know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this type of work and all that kind of stuff. Uh, your spiritual work. You don't need to let the, the world know everything that you can do spiritually. I'm also seeing in this pile, you will accomplish goals um, very quickly because you're not distracted. You're not distracted like everybody else. And they're like, how the hell you get to the finish line that quick? Because you're not distracted. See, you take a time where everybody's in chaos to find opportunities to make changes. You know, that's this is the perfect time. While the market is crashing, let me go ahead and buy this house. Let me go ahead and get these opportunities. So Spirit is saying, yes, you know, keep going with that. Keep going. Find those opportunities. Don't get distracted. And Spirit says, don't limit yourself either because you have a lot of power to make a lot of different changes in your life, okay? So again, don't try to fit in. Don't try to, you know, uh, what do we call that? Get along with the group. You know, when you see opportunities, keep going for it. Yes. Because spirit appreciates when you make the most out of life. When every day for you is a new day of opportunity. I'm also seeing in this pile, before we close out, I'm going to probably get, um, yeah, I'll pull these cards. I'll give you guys a closing message. I'm also seeing this pile, not everybody is going to appreciate your advice and your wisdom. Like, I see you trying to bless somebody, you know, and they're like, hey, not everybody's going to appreciate the blessings that you give them, and that's okay. You know, move on. Go to a place where you are appreciated, accepted, and where you can charge your worth for what you are able to give, Okay. The Spirit says you're going to be molten and you're going to need to um, get paid more or charge more for your services anyway. Mm -hmm. And the Owl Spirit just tells me, like, like I said earlier, you guys are able to see certain things and you're going to be able to see more spirits. I see your eyes opening up or maybe visions. You're going to, you're going to be able to see further. And your ancestors are with you when watching over the situation. Okay. Let's get three cards and we'll close out. Yeah. They say continue to control your emotions. Things will try to target you because you are not fitting in with the um, with the collective energy. Like we all mad. So you need to be mad too. You need to be mad because we didn't get a raise. You know, people want to get you involved in things because you are very mellow and not allowing it to get to you. But Spirit says don't let it. Don't let it because people are carrying toxic energy, you know. Half the time, they don't know what day it is. So don't let them influence your life, your peace, and your relationships. Spirit says, be mindful of your mental health, okay? Look, that's funny that fell out. Relax. Don't let it get to you. All right, so let's go on to pile number two. All right, so pile two, you chose a small black dice. Let's roll it at least two times. I might do three. Oof, okay. They, they said that one hot. 
We ain't letting you slide on that one. Spirit is talking about for this pile career career paths, okay? Um, some of you know that you are destined for fame or you're destined for notoriety or just destined to be known in some type of way for some type of talent that you have. So Spirit wants you to more so put that energy out there. Spirit also talks about this pal being very creative. So you have a lot of uh, creativity like spark within you right now. And Spirit wants you to put these ideas out there. Do not be afraid of the public. Do not be afraid of you know showcasing your talents even if you feel like not everybody's gonna like it it doesn't matter uh spirit said it twice you are destined you are destined to you know be in the spotlight in some type of way even if it's just to a small audience spirit wants to see you put yourself out there in the ways that they know that you can because they blessed you with natural talents this power has a lot of natural talents okay um, so let's look at, well, we can do this, but I, I can see this being a career reading. So this is like step up to the plate, you know, go ahead and sit on the throne because this pile you're supposed to be leading. So at, um, on a small level, it could be that you're going to raise up to like a manager position or some type of higher position and spirit wants you to take on on a bigger scale. Cause like I said, this pal, um, you can be destined for fame or like notoriety being known for something, uh, for something that you're really good at or something that you can do. Spirit wants you to start being acknowledged. Yeah. You got the lion that's roaring. Like spirit wants you to be heard. Spirit wants you to be seen. Let people know who you are, okay? I think a lot of people have underestimated you, but Spirit says now is the time to be noticed and get ahead, okay? <laughs> you have a lot of people who are hating and jealous of you, but they're like, it don't matter. We got your back, you know, roar. Like, they're like, no, it don't even matter. People smile in your face, you know, they want to take your place, but it don't matter, okay? Um, you have learned a lot of things. Some of you are overqualified. You know, you've went through certain trainings and certain teachings, and you're only showcasing a small portion of what you can do. And I feel like I've told this pal this before. If you are, you know, not new to my channel, I feel like I've told you before. Why do you keep limiting your creativity? And it may seem like a lot too. Some of you only want to do certain, I only want to do this and I only want to do that. And that's it. No, baby. Spirit has a bigger plan for you. Spirit has a bigger plan for you. You have a lot of ancestors running through you. Lots of ancestors running through you. So that means that you have a lot of ancestral talents. There are many things that you can pick from, but I don't feel like spirit wants you to just pick one thing, right? Um, so this pal, you might have a few different career paths because you're a creator. I think honestly, this pal, when you settle, you have more problems than when you actually go for what it is that you're supposed to do, okay? See, I don't make this up. Primordial gifts. Yeah, the mother has their eye on you. The creator has um, their eye on you. Okay. Yeah, it says you can no longer ignore your calling. You're called to do very, really big things. Spirit wants you to stop settling. Stop settling just to like, you know, put on a performance for one person or put on a performance for maybe one or two people. You should be thinking bigger because more people need your gifts. They need what you have to offer. Okay. Whatever it may be. And this is the snake that was given to you. This was the gift that was given to you. So it's, it's in you. It's in you, you know, and it wants to come out and showcase more things. Yes. <laughs> 
uncover more things about yourself. Show people more things about yourself, okay? Overqualified. You can no longer ignore your calling. Let's get a few more cards and I'm moving on, child. See? I don't make this up. Speak up. Speak out. A lot of things will change for you once you kind of step into um, your purpose, you know, and not just one purpose. Yeah, I was going to say that. Don't let jealousy get to you because I see toxic energy. Like, don't let jealousy and people, you know, saying what you can't do. Don't let one person denying you determine your whole destiny. You know, they just hating. They, they just hating. Boo. They just hating. Let's go on to pile three. All right, pal three, you chose the blue dice. Let's see what the oracle has to say for you. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right, so this pal, um, you have a few different messages, okay? So the first one deals with spirit wants you to keep up with your spiritual practices. You know, rather you... You think that it's not doing anything or not like your floor washes, your um, your prayer work, your candle work, you know, you uh, you speaking, you know, like I said, praying, speaking over your life. Do not underestimate what these things can do for you, because sometimes it's just as little as that that can keep some of these benevolent um no, oh, malevolent, excuse me, male, malevolent spirits away from you, okay? So, uh, because spirit talks about some of you dealing with um, spirits attaching themselves to you. Rather, it be sexual spirits, because I see that too. Some things getting thrown at you. Um, some spirits, um, people sending spiritual attacks to ruin certain relationships and people liking you in general. Um, because people don't like all the attention that you're getting and things like that, or that you just have a partner or that you're getting attention or that you have friends. I'm not sure how far the cookie crumble because it can crumble like that when it comes to people sending you spiritual attacks. Another thing is, um, your ancestors are wanting, um, an offering or just veneration. Make sure that you're calling out your ancestral names. Because that can invoke your spirit team around you. Yeah. Let me cover that up and put another card right there. Yeah. So a lot of people in this pile, you know, um, little success that you have and big successes that you have. You know, I just see a lot of abundance, a lot of abundance, especially with the buffalo. It seems like every, you take something and you can make it uh, fold in like a few different ways. Like you're going to, you're going to use all of the resources <laughs> and make something out of it. Like make it more prosperous. You know, you're, you might be the type that might buy a house that looks like, you know, who, what, and why. Um, you know, when those fixer uppers and then you turn it into a little mini match and they like, how you do that? So they get mad that even when you take something little and turn it into something big, um, and you always seem to be ahead of people when it comes to your knowledge and your wisdom. Mm -hmm. mm. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to, Spirit says you're going to have to go ahead and use your spiritual spirituality to cleanse. If you, at the very least, use it to cleanse because there's a lot of people who pretend around you. A lot of people will ask you for advice just to kind of take things and try to get ahead of you, you know. And this could be also exes from either side, exes from either side, your side or your partner's side, that also want to break bonds up. They don't know how y'all got this far. Despite all challenges that were thrown your way. So that's just a small message for somebody. Spirit says you must be confident in um, the oracles and prophecies that are given to you. Spirit says they give you prophecies and oracles, which means that uh, you see future events. 
Um, and it doesn't have to be in the form of a vision. Sometimes people see omens, you know, they see birds and they're like, okay, that's a sign, you know, um, and they can read between the lines of a sign. And so it's like they give you information about certain things that they want you to pay attention to. Okay. It's not by coincidence, you know, that flies are keep, keep coming in your house and things like that. Like they give you signs and indication as to when you need to cleanse and things of that nature. So it's best that you listen. I also see this pile going into a new phase in your life. A new phase in your life. Some of you have overcome um, a lot of like dark times, maybe some depression, some dark times and things that you've gone through. Um, but yes, you're going through a new phase in your life where you've come out stronger from that situation, immune to poison. Yeah, destined for greatness. Oof. Don't let your lack of confidence keep you from certain positions that you're supposed to have in your life. Don't let lack of confidence keep you from certain positions you're supposed to have in life. Because they're regarding you as royalty. Yes. This pile can have a lot of wealth if you get organized. Organize your wealth. There's going to be some positions that spirit wants to put you in. Um, so make sure that you're organizing your wealth. Um, yes. And I see conquering warriors like conquering. Don't be afraid to conquer. Don't be afraid to, um, you know, be qualified for a position. Even if it means somebody else got to move out of that position. Spirit is talking about that. Some of you have father figures on the other side. This could be grandfathers or fathers who are watching over you. I think that's it. Y'all. So that's it for the quick reading. I'm going to peace out.